Hello again, this is Andrew Klein. This is video 11 in my compositing tutorial series. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a foreground reflections pass. Uh, in this case, my character uh, may walk past this large window. He walks past these um, uh, glass plates on the newspaper stands as well. And uh, I want to see his reflection composited into the background because in my uh, default master layer, He's obviously not here. I just want to make sure that as he walks by, we get a little bit of reflectivity into those elements. So uh, here's how we do this. Uh, first off, I'm going to take my uh, character reflections layer, which I'd created back in uh, video 9 when I broke this all apart. And uh, I'm actually going to simplify this out even further uh, in my hypergraph. I'm going to do something uh, very similar to what I did in my shadow pass layer. I'm going to get rid of... Um, you know, pretty much all of my bus stop geometry here. I'm going to remove these objects out. Uh, I'm going to take my sky dome and uh, remove these objects out as well. Uh, I've got all of my sky domes here. Just removing them from these layers. One by one. Uh, so pretty much I'm just left with my character right now. Uh, then I'm going to take my lighting group. This is the group that I have for my lighting. Uh, your scene may be organized a bit differently, but I got rid of my lights there while I was getting rid of these things. Uh, I'm going to put my lights back in this group, uh, adding just my lights. And uh, let's see here. I should have got my lights in here. I don't know why I'm not seeing those. Uh, so I've got my lights. Uh, I am also going to add in my um, let's see here. I'm also going to add in my uh, background elements uh, one by one again. Uh, I'm going to add in my uh, base, my garbage, my building, uh, and sort of like these main parts. I'm going to add them to this layer as well. So I've just got these key elements uh, back in. This is very similar to what I had done in the uh, character shadow creation pass. Uh, so in this uh, render pass, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a um, new set of materials uh, for my objects as a whole, again, I don't want them to render with their default textures on, I want to create a material that essentially reflects nothing. Uh, I've already got a material here that I've called reflect nothing. Uh, it is a surface shader. We've looked at making these before. It's a black surface shader. All of the properties are black. As simple as that. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to hide out my character which I've got on these display layers here. I'll just hide him temporarily. And uh, I'll select all of my geometry. And I'm going to assign this black reflect nothing to my background. And I can turn my character back on. Uh, this way I know he wasn't affected. There we go. I'm also going to turn on wireframe unshaded because it's hard to see things when you uh, make these uh, dark or completely white surface shaders. Whenever you've got a surface shader, you pretty much need to turn on the wireframe unshaded just so you can see your form. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I need to make a layer that will reflect. So I'm going to make another material. Uh, I have one here called reflective that I've made. Uh, this material is actually a use background material. And we've looked at making these previously as well. So my reflect nothing is just a black surface shader. My use background is this reflective material. Uh, the default use background is pretty much all I'm using, to be quite honest. If I go to surface and create use background, and you look at the uh, use background that you make by default versus the one that I'm using, the render settings are exactly the same. I'm just taking the exact same default use background and applying it because it has a higher reflectivity value. And it's just going to pretty much sample out whatever it's seeing and make it reflect. So I'm going to select my window and apply this reflective material. I'll select the front of my newspaper stand and the front of my other little newspaper stand. And I'm going to apply this in. And that's pretty much my reflections pass. It's going to reflect nothing out beyond this because uh, this whole world is just, it's all black out there. When my character is lit, however, 
it's just going to look and see my character. Everything else is going to be black. So the only thing it's going to give me is a reflection of the character. And uh, I do have an image of this, although, as I said, it's very subtle because in the shot that I'm rendering, he only barely walks past this window. But uh, let's see if I can minimize my background here. If you can see a little bit right here, there's like a reflection of his arm in that window. If you don't see it, just trust me, it's right there. Uh, and I've got that, and I can kind of add that into that window for that one little shot, and uh, I can get that working. So that's how I would create my uh, reflections pass to kind of composite this character in front of a reflective background. And um, anyway, that has been uh, sh uh, video tutorial 11, looking at how to composite out or break out the render layers for a foreground reflections pass. Uh, stay tuned for video 12, where I'm going to talk about in my sort of final Maya portion of this, uh, how to do specialized naming for a batch render. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side of that in video 12.